Let's find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. There, now, done. What's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Thank <laughs> you. 
interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people were killed to be head of Fink security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. the way down. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Ready. the book. 
look for the clock shop. some money. Want it? Give me a second. The broken clock tolls at midnight. Which clock? This looks like the one. Set it to midnight. because I believed in God, and because I believed in honor. But Slade has shown me this. There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man, and there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service.
goddamn kook. You know you can hear us. You want to say something? We want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company. Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. No mercy. Elizabeth? No problem. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. All done. Do it? You're a liar. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, DeWitt, not hyenas. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? How the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. This is becoming rather awkward. This one needs a bit of a nudge. We could. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but. It's like riding a bicycle. He never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb a bike. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, open it. Blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. 
Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. Well, now. Booker, grab that lock. On to this? Great.
like this. We're ready for you! Over there, flat giving you the job. Hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Booker, look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now.
Mr. Lin. Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines! Very dangerous! No place for stupid people! Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Kill my husband? Calm his troubled thoughts. Ease his burden. Bring Chen Lin back to me. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police! They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. He's in Shantytown. Found some money. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. I'm not so sure it's a good idea. I was born deaf. <laughs> I hear what it is people are saying. a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. Go ahead. All right.
Need money? You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. I must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak but to me. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything they're selling. These people are like this because of a think? But Daisy, Daisy's right. Says there's Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. Making a goddamn dent. I'm hungry, Bill. Bill's all mine. Join the fight. Of trap. Ah. Stay with me, Boomer. Straight for the police Back station. Or see what's in the back. Don't see him anywhere. Hold it up. No one will miss you. Oh, you 
right.
Fitzroy. You... Go ahead. You got a little cunning in you, if nothing else. Dropped a couple grizzly traps around the lines up here. Idea was to... to bleed one of your couriers till he gave you up. Except, of course... You're using kids now. Now I got this tiny engine boy eyeballing me. Tried to take his leg off. Damn thing's just lying here between us. I sure wish he'd cry or something. Some help with this. Let me see. It's done. Grab that lock. Elizabeth!
Perfect timing. the job and there's life. They pay me to hate the goddamn Vox and I take their money, but what's the harm of having a drink with Fitzroy's people? Face to face at the graveyard shift while they're, they're just folk. Well, I guess I fell into the goddamn bottle because I stumbled back without the evidence locker key. <laughs> if Schmidt finds out... Well, there'll be hell to pay. Open it. Sure thing. There they are, the tools. Now we just have to get them back to the Vox, and then we get our airship. Think you can crack this one open? I can do that. All done.
really helping by getting guns for the Vox Populi. It's gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Things better for the people here. Sure. We sure as hell aren't gonna be able to carry all this back to the shop. God, we didn't think this all the way through. version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. Well, if the tools aren't in there, then... Then they must be back, back at, at the, the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into this Terra, I don't think there's any turning back. Are you sure you want to go now? Let's head back to the gunsmith and finish our deal. I aim to be on that airship and well shut of this place for long. Booker, if the Vox get their weapons... There's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are gonna have better lives. Yeah. from their comfortable hibernation. We're going to Emporium, and then we're going to see what it takes to rouse them from their slumber. They argued something fierce at night, Lady Comstock and the Prophet. Could never make out what it was about for my bunk, though. After the worst, I seen she ain't left for morning prayer. So I crept upstairs to check in on her. And like a fool, I lingered. Scullery maid was what they called me when I was. Daisy's moved these people. Things can change, Booker, and we can be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place.
Walker DeWitt, the hero of the Vox. What the hell are they talking about? Look at that poster. In this world, you're a hero. I remember I led the Vox. S Slate and I burned down the Hall of Heroes. Hard to think of. Two memories in the same Booker, place. Booker, come back to me. We're going to find Daisy Fitzroy. And we're getting out of here on the first day. Let's go. woman in Colombia to have been your wife. They said your soul was choked by the fumes in that metal box, but this I do not believe you. And we shall meet again on that eternal shore. Both of us whole and smiling. Not someone with their own dreams and aspirations. I love you. Not someone trying to make sure their kids have it better than they did. The founders see you as something to be controlled. To be told when to eat, when to sleep, when Bring to stand, the girl and, and wipe down. away the debt. As plans go, I'd seen worse, except this girl was already gone. Monument Island's a damn ghost town. It seems like they evacuated her when they heard I was here. An old friend told me Comstock spirited her off to that fortress of his. As a one-man job, this just went from betting on the river to drawing dead. They want you focused on the wrong thing. They want to keep you distracted. Keep you, you from hold thinking on about this. the real problem. The inequality. The bigotry. The inhumanity. They want you thinking, my neighbor got a fine wife. How come I ain't got no fine watch? What I got to do for my boss to get me that fine watch? And you're all so worried about getting that watch. You can't even tell time. some of the gloom.
when you force deep underground, well, you see things from the bottom up. And down at the bottom of the city, I saw a fire burning. A fire's got heat of plenty, but it ain't got no mouth. Daisy. Now she got herself a mouth big enough for all the fires in Columbia. More money. Catch, Mr. DeWitt.
nice. need a better class of hero. When it comes down to it, the only difference between Comstock and Fitzroy is how you spell the name. tornado blow. Hold and release to build up a more devastating tornado blow.
want some money. Well, I guess we did it. I don't know if I brought us to a world where the Vox had weapons. to have happen. Elizabeth. They're dead, Booker. Come on. Let's leave this place. Let's go to the factory and get our airship. This isn't our responsibility. None of it. You just opened a door to this world and we stepped through. Are you sure, Booker? Did I just bring us to a world where Chenlin was alive? Or, or did I create it? I told you I always thought that my little trick was a form of wish fulfillment. My wish. Brothers and sisters, I wish to speak plainly to you. When you look at yourself, you see a face of a person, yes? A human being. But do you know what Fink sees? He sees the nag. He sees the nag that pulls his plow.
kill the good people. <laughs> Can't get that door open unless someone takes that airship out. Are we volunteering? Sabotage the engine and bring this thing down. Sabotage the engine and bring this thing down. to get off this thing. Let's go find Daisy in the factory. The gates are open! Now let's take their heads!
Lucy said she was coming here for Fink. We need to take that elevator up. That at least to Fink. Office. Just right for each other, aren't they? Who? It's Roy and Comstock. <laughs> May Lynn? Mr. Lynn? My God, I... I was so set on getting to Paris. I, I didn't really think that... You couldn't have known this would happen. I had a role in this catastrophe. If if you want to pretend that we're purely innocents in this, then that's your prerogative, but... Um, uh, hello? Fink? I saw you die, Booker. Saw it with my own eyes. Fitzroy. Listen, I got you your guns. I'm here for my airship. But my Booker DeWitt died for the Vox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My Booker DeWitt was a hero to the cause, a story to tell your children. You, you just complicate the narrative. After all, Slate. He's fell in with these Vox Populi. And for irregulars, I will say, they are loaded for bear. The problem is, I gotta help them with their damn revolution first. Then we take Comstock House by storm. I do that, I get the girl.
dash away your enemies. Hold to grab enemies and release to reel them in for punishment. These holes have shown me yet another wonder, though I've yet to see the application for it. They illuminate a merger of machine and man that is somehow the lesser yet the greater of both parties. The process seems to be irreversible. <laughs> Perhaps, though, Comstock will have some need of this kind of thing to keep watch in that tower he is building.
Got it. 